So Nan was the incoming chair of the board for the YWCA when I was starting as the CEO at the YWCA. At the time we were in a deficit and Nan was able to work with me and with social venture partners to really create a sustainable financial model for affordable quality childcare. She stepped into not only helping with the board here in Boulder, but she's now on the board for the YWCA nationally. If you look at the arc of Nan's career, from the moment that she began working, and even before that in school, every time there was an opportunity that she saw that there was a need for someone that to be raised up, she took it. In the College of Engineering, she was a vocal advocate for identifying and eliminating the barriers to student success, particularly for female students and students of color. As an advisory board member, she was a champion. She increased the enrollment of women, hiring more female faculty, and most importantly, she spoke truth to power. My parents worked to try to make things better in, in whatever small ways they could. So I suppose my brother and I have inherited some of that uh, in our DNA. I saw early on that if I leaned into something, and tried to do something, it helped me be less insecure because I often did feel like I was on the outside when I was growing up. And then of course I came to engineering school and there were only like 18% female students in my classes and I was like, wow, where's everybody? I decided I can help change this and I became president of the Society of Women Engineers on campus. And I thought, we don't have to feel so isolated. So I established a little buddy system so that you didn't have to feel so lonely in your first few weeks in college. In her law career, she actually persuaded the law partners to create her, the first women's initiative in the law firm. I became the national chair of the Women Trial Lawyers Group to the ABA. And there I was able to advocate for a more inclusive group of players. Let's have more younger lawyers involved. Let's have more diverse attorneys. And one of the things I'm most proud of is we put on the first ever LGBTQ forum for lawyers identifying in litigation that did that work and had been even more isolated than I had been. I think the ability to get involved in your community often gets you to a position of influence where you can help shape things to be the way you think they should be. And that to me is very, very gratifying. She is indeed leaving a legacy of optimism, of hope, of the power of one to inspire great ideas, of the impact of courageous actions, and most of all, of the unwavering belief that one person's actions can make a difference.